Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and today we are going to be creating a fall home project page for your planner. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but Matthew and I in the fall, we've suddenly have feel like we've got our like butts into gear on getting things done around our house. And we have like a long list of projects that we're wanting to do. Um and things that we want to get done so of course i want to make a page for my planner showing how to do it i want to go kind of all out and use lots of cute fall stickers so i am going to be using all of these leaves and i'm going to cover the edge so that it is very fall e folly is that a word it is now so i am layering these up and down the edge these are from the new fall sticker book and i'm really trying to cover up this pink um so that it doesn't look basically <laughs> okay that's like the same leaf in a row but here we go we can put this one here and then this one here and this one here now I'm going to grab my scissors I'm gonna flip it over so I can see where I'm cutting I'm just gonna trim Now I have all these extras that I don't need and I have this super cute fall page. Like, can we just get paper like this? Thanks. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to go. Okay. We have this fall sticker. This one, this is what I want. I'm going to put fall up here like this okay and then I really want to write home projects doesn't this book have this yes okay so I am going to spell out home projects using these letters I love making extra pages like this for my planner. It's one reason that I love the Disbound system so much because you can literally add anything you want to your planner. Um, and then that way, if you need to plan for something outside of the normal, like monthly and weekly, it's just so easy to make a page, pop it in and have a place to track that outside of your weekly. Like I could track these things in my weekly planner and I probably will track the different steps that we're taking and the different appointments that we make to get things done. But I love that I'm gonna have this extra page just to kind of track um, everything that we want to get done and then like I can check it off once we complete it. It's gonna be perfect. Fall home. Projects. Now I kind of don't like though that this is not centered. I should have started over here because 
peeling those up will be a nightmare, but I could, I wonder if pulling this up is doable. Nope, I don't have any undo, so we're gonna leave it. Maybe if we put like a leaf over here, it'll help. Yes, that looks so much better. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do, I could use these, but I, I don't really like this shape of sticker. I don't know why they keep giving us those. I would much rather have these. So I could put one here. That is crooked. Put one here. Put one here. Put one here. I was trying to see if there were other colors, but there's not, so I do need to use this one. Put this one here. kind of bother me because I feel like I feel like these are almost lined up perfectly and then these are not pull out my colorful boxes book because in these boxes is where I can put what we actually want to do and then here is where I can track the things that need to get done for that to happen. kind of fallish those are all used I don't know that this is really fallish but I'm gonna use it anyway okay then in these boxes I can actually write the things that we need to get done. So like we need new gutters put on the house this fall. We need to paint the house. Y'all are painting our house and I'm so excited. We're painting it white. I can't wait. Um, I want to clean the closets.
we need to clean out the garage. And then we want to start getting estimates to renovate our kitchen. I don't know that we will actually renovate it this fall, but we want to at least start that process. So those are our fall home projects that we're going to be working on. And I basically what I can do now is I can write down the day we're getting the estimate, the day we're getting it done, the total cost of it, if I want to keep track of the cost, and then I can check it off when I'm finished. So I'll probably do estimate, day it's getting done, and the cost. The day of the estimate, the day it's getting done, and then the cost so that I have it all on this page. So I hope this gave you ideas for how to make a page for yourself. If you're not doing home projects, you can make this same page, but just change the title to be whatever it is that you need it to be. Fall bucket list, fall events, fall date nights. I don't know. You could come up with all kinds of things. Um, oh, and I'm also going to grab my punch and repunch this edge so that I can put it in my planner. So if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.